Hey, you snooze, you lose. That's what I was just going to say. Yeah. You snooze. You goddamn lose. You goddamn lose. Hey! Great, great software, by the way. Oh, it's fantastic. I love that. Man. People love it, too. They all they tell me, they say, hey, did you make Calendly? And I said, no, it's a fucking dumb name. I would have made a much <laughs> right. better name. Calendar. It much, yeah. Ca- yeah, it would just be called fucking Calendar. Live calendar. <laughs> yeah, Calendar Appointment Setting <laughs> Software. Right. What would you, uh, 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 get your shit in order? Would that be a good yeah, name? Yeah, yeah. Get it together. Get it together. Get it together. That's it! Get it together, Lee. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, apparently you had a Lee on yeah, you. Yeah, that's all fuck. <laughs> so, um, so I got super excited. Uh, was probably earlier this week. All of a sudden, I get a LinkedIn friend request uh, from yes. Kenneth Loggins. Okay, I told them. I was yeah, excited, too. I, yeah, I saw it, too. Did you? Yes. I'm going to tell you. I told Is Helen. This real? I told Helen. I said, holy shit. Kenneth Loggins. <laughs> He just friended us on LinkedIn. And she goes, holy shit, are you fucking serious? She goes, I love Highway to the Danger Zone. And I said, me too. Right. We started listening to it. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go and fucking take a look at Kenneth uh, Loggins. Well, joke's on me. (laughs) Kenneth Uh, Loggins. His name is spelled with one G, not two. (laughs) And the gentleman was a black man. And and Kenneth Loggins... If Kenny Loggins, hey, maybe, you know what he reminded me of? Honestly, if, do you remember the Simpsons when Michael Jackson was the big white guy? Yeah. That's what I thought this was. Mm. But joke's no, on you. Joke's yes. on me. But Kenny Loggins started a podcast company. Did he? Called Podcast One. Are you being serious? Or are you Dead just fucking serious. with me? Dead serious. The Highway Sha- to the Danger Shaquille Zone? Shaquille O'Neal. Has, right? Yes, oh, yes. Maybe we can get Shaquille on Shaquille O'Neal has fantastic. his own podcast. Be. But by Drew the way. And, uh, Dr. Drew and Adam Carolla. Adam, yeah. He's got a lot of high celebrity so people. I, I want to, uh, then that started getting me going. Like, I'm like, I want to, I want to get Kenny Loggins yeah. somehow. Yeah. Kenneth. Should. Yeah. Oh, wait. He goes by Kenneth. Kenneth. Kenneth, Kenneth Loggins. Loggins. Kenneth Loggins. Kenneth Loggins. Not Kenny Loggins. But I did talk to this guy. So I was like, okay. God damn it. You really threw me, you son of a bitch. So I talked to him. He's a good singer. Really? I told him, I said, listen, sing Highway to the Danger Zone. He can do it. <laughs> so we're going to have him on. He's going to, he's going to guest at some point. And he's going to sing Highway to the Danger Zone. So we're going to just rem- remind me because I'll forget after okay. we just yeah. talked about this. But he will do that. Started a story last week and then the caller called. And I thought about saying it again, but I'm afraid we're going to give him do another it. call. Do Let's it. Try it. Here. Do it. All right. So remember we were talking about phones, I think, and texting. And I started telling the story how I had a customer and she was... She's kind of a pain in the ass. Oh, yeah. I remember, <coughs> remember this? Yes. Yeah. This is all a new story. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So she, I don't remember anything. The long play? She calls me on a Wednesday. You need to be here yeah. tomorrow morning or Thursday, and you need to figure this out. And she's trying to get the coding to do whatever it needs to do. Okay, fine. I'll show up. So I show up, and she says, well, you're going to have to wait because I have to do this first. So I'm sitting there waiting. Hour goes by, two hours. And then I'm like, can I do it now? No. Now I have to do this. So she's torturing me. Wow. This is what this lady did. How old is she? She's probably 25, 26. I don't know. Milf. Ooh, wow. Butch of a Milf. Butch of a girl. I don't know. 25? Yeah. Well, nowadays, yes. the oh, millennials. Okay. okay. So. <laughs> no? Lindsay, my I wife. Because I was kind of. <laughs> called. It, stressed she, out. Wrote, she wrote a letter? She, she texted me. How's it going? Oh, I thought she was talking to the lady. I texted back to Lindsay. <laughs> This chick makes me want to punch a baby. That's literally what I said. Punch a baby. Problem is, I didn't send it to Lindsay. I accidentally <laughs> sent it to her. No, you didn't. And I'm standing oh, right next no, to you her. Didn't. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you and didn't. And she oh. looked at me. Oh, why? No, you didn't. And she's, get the fuck out of here. And oh. she, started, she started throwing shit. Really? Wow. Yeah. Like, what do you do? Oh, but you can you accidentally text your way out. Oh, yeah. I've never <laughs> accidentally texted the wrong person standing right next to him. Nope. Never I told you one for me. But well, what you should have done, you played this all wrong. You should have then texted, sorry. <laughs> you yeah. wrong. You should have just kept texting her. Don't please, even talk please, to her anymore. Please stop swearing at me. Yeah. I'm right here. Stop throwing shit at me. It please, was please. an accident. Yeah. The, the way I phrase it, there was no getting, there was no excuse. There was no like trying to sugar. I, I, I was right. like, yep, I, I sent that. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Hey, deny. You should have texted back. Deny. Somebody spoofed my phone. That wasn't from me. But it's not the worst thing, right? This chick makes me want to punch a baby. No. It could have been a lot worse. Does it affect your business anyway? No, she got fired three weeks later. Problem solved. For punching a baby. No, she she just made it. Seriously. Everybody's life. Get the fuck out of here. There's people in this world that just do that. So finally, the boss man's like, 
you're out of here. Right. Everybody hates you. But I love that you sent that text. I swear to God, my house is haunted. And here's why. Every single time I'll either buy something, put it where I know it is, or I will like scissors. We talked about this before. I will take scissors and I'll put them where there's, I'll come back. The shit's gone. You want me to just bring it back? And then I come back like days later. Yeah. And it's back. Right in the same fucking spot. Ooh. So I tell them, I say, listen, guys, I'll talk to him. I'll say, I know you're here. Just stop fucking with me. I think it's only Helen. You think it's Helen as the ghost? If it's a kid, they don't put it back. No. Do you think she dresses up as uh, the ghost and walk just Helen. in case? And just in case I find her, she puts a sheet yep, over her. Yep. And she's like, oh, shit. I didn't it's put that Charlie back. And she puts it back. <laughs> no kid would ever take no. the time to put it back in the exact same See, spot. No, you're fucking around. No, I'm, he's talking about ghosts. I'm like, I'm he's literally, talking about the ghost. I am literally saying that there's a fucking ghost. Oh. And I said, if you're saying it's Helen, does Helen put the sheet on yeah. just in case I catch yeah. her? With the, with the eyes and cut then, Yeah. And then I come down and I'm like, wait a minute. I knew it was a ghost. She goes, ooh. <laughs> think she does around. Sound effects yeah. and everything. <laughs> turn around and leave before all. Oh. Close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not She's going upstairs. <laughs> she dresses up as a ghost just in case I fucking catch her. This is Ser- too much for you to handle. Seriously. Close let's, your eyes. Guys, this is not a joking matter. And I, I don't want to offend any ghosts that are out there in this warehouse. I think you would. <laughs> I think they're of watching. all people. Fuck yeah, they are. And yeah. they're going to steal my shit. What's that? I could see you becoming best what friends with a ghost. What's what? What's behind you? Stop fucking around. Okay. I would I would love to be a friend with a ghost. I know you would. I would be. So you just got to get over that initial fear. Oh, no. It's, Casper go, was friendly. Casper's an asshole. Do you know that I, because uh, he's just such an annoying fuck. But do you know that I, uh, I would rather have one that would just like open up the fucking cupboards and shit. Oh, yeah. Like, give me one oh, that's a okay. real. Oh, you want the real deal. You know, I say that, but I really, <laughs> I really, I, you know what, guys, guys, when I'm with you, I say that, but at home, I'm like, I don't, I'm not going in the basement by myself. <laughs> not doing it. Not doing it. So oh, that's, you know what? Fuck it. But I tell you, there's been times I walked up the stairs oh. and I have felt a little chill, a yeah. little chill. So I swear, I'm like, you know what? And I'll tell them, I'll be like, Hey, I know somebody's here. You built saying, the house, right? Mm-hmm. Call yeah, you, call you thermostat. Only people that have lived there. Yeah. Maybe it was a, like a. Indian burial. Yeah, I was just gonna say, you sort. ever seen fucking poltergeist? Yeah. They built that shit too. Yeah. I will say though, Call my, your HVAC guy. my uh, w- when right. I used to live in Jersey, the house that we lived in, I said I already told this story about the guy that had it was all doors. I swear, somebody, there, I would go in the basement sometimes, and I swear, man, I could feel some shit. There was something that was. It was just fun. Not, hmm. Like they didn't try to fucking. They, it was an old ass house. I'm just tapping you on the shoulder, saying hi. Yeah, they're like, "Hey, guy, how you doing?" <laughs> you know, they're probably just sitting there fucking talking to me the whole time, and right. I can't understand them, right? Or I can't see them. Like, fuck, this sucks. But they're fine. Yeah. But I could feel them. Like I would play ping pong, and I knew these motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. So I, I could never beat my dad or my brother at ping pong. We bought this ping pong table one one Christmas. We came down. Santa gave it to us, and uh, we're playing ping pong. And I was the fucking one of the best ping pong players ever. And I used to be able to uh, just beat everybody. I mean, people would come over far and wide, far and I'd, wide. I'd beat them. The only two people I couldn't beat are my brother and my dad. And I swear to God, the ghosts liked them more. So it moved my fucking ball all the time. He'd like, blow my ball. Blow oh, yeah. He'd blow it. It would go fucking long yeah. every single time. Her other ball hitting off yeah. the corner. So he, was, he was really a kind of a dick ghost, honestly. Huh. Yeah. See, when I die, I'm going to be a great ghost. I'm not going to leave it a mystery. No? No, I'm just going to come right out and say, hey, guys. You are, but <laughs> yeah, you can't. No, I'm going to. Oh, I don't want to be mysterious. No, I don't either. I just want everybody to know I'm there. Right. I don't either. How can I, I help you? Too. Why do they always have to hide? Right. Like, listen, if I'm haunting a house that yeah. maybe it's a short woman, I'm going to help her get her bowl from the <gasps> top. From the she top would thing. love that. Wow. Yeah. And, but the thing is, like, ghost. yeah, I'm going to be Mr. I'm, and, but the that's, gentleman ghost. But I think that's how the poltergeist start. Is that's all they're trying to do is open up the cabinets and shit for people. Right. Yeah. Oh, and they're like, fuck, they can't do it. Like and they, then they got angry. Yes. Yep. You're not respecting me. Right. right. And now everything's open. And now I'm going to scratch you. It makes all the sense <laughs> in the world. You know? Better say thank you. <laughs> right. Huh. Now all of a sudden. That could be it. Lately, I'm a big fan of melatonin. But what I have found. How many MGs? How many milligrams? Five over here. I'm a fiver. Yeah. Jesus Christ, you two. Xanax. Let me check you in the rehab. So the, uh, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Take Xanax. God. So I take one milligram, and sometimes I cut it in half. What? It's a, one little, it's a little too much it's for nothing. me. And here's the reason yeah, why. That's because he's mixing it with sativa. So uh, no, he goes okay, right yeah, to sleep. Yeah, here's the reason sense. why. First of all, it's a bang. 
<laughs> the reason the reason I have to do that is because when I wake up in the morning after melatonin, I feel like shit. Like I still feel tired. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That is true. That's what fucking kills me about melatonin. I found something better. NyQuil. <laughs> oh, no, it's see, fantastic. I'm the, exact, I'm the exact opposite. Really? Oh, big time. Here's melatonin. I'm, so you guys have like a hangover effect from melatonin? Like you're tired oh, yeah. the next day and stuff? Yeah, I am. Oh, yeah. Not at all. Really? I feel like a million bucks. Really? Oh, yeah. I will say I get that sleep hangover from NyQuil more than melatonin. That's what I was going to say. So I, you're, you're wired different. See, I'll tell you. I've like known the, that since day one. Yeah, that's true. I'm like the commercial. <laughs> I, I, all of a sudden, I'll take NyQuil. I'll sleep, have a nice fucking eight hours. I'll wake up, boop, and then I'm here. We go. The fucking birds are oh chirping. My gosh, the sunshine's you are open. the guy on the Nyquil bottle, That's sleeping all cozy yes. right there. And then here I go. Snug as a bucket of rug. Yeah. And then <laughs> all of a sudden, eight hours, I'm up because he drinks Dayquil when he wakes up. Oh my god. That's you need the you need them both. But here's the problem. <laughs> Nyquil gives me some fucking crazy ass yep. dreams. Yeah. That's known for that. Is it? Is. it? It's that die. Yeah, you, you'll end up telling Helen. If you're not careful. <laughs> oh, yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. Is that, is that, is that, is that, yeah. in fine it's print? A because it's I'm going to tell effect. you. Lots of killers on NyQuil out there. I can't yeah. fucking read oh, the yeah. fine print anymore. There <laughs> are people that will try to drink that whole bottle to hallucinate. Get oh, out of here. That's serious. Eight, really? Eight, eight ounces you have to drink? Something like that, yeah. yeah. Holy oh, shit. So anyway, NyQuil is fantastic. I just get very bad dreams. So, so that, that, are you drinking eight ounces? Just FYI. If it's ever two three in the morning and I come over and ring your doorbell. Just don't answer. <laughs> All right. Because I'm obviously I'm in some kind of night. will fucking haze and That's I'm walking around. Yeah. 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 Here he goes. <laughs> <laughs> I have my boxers on my head. It's not even, it's not even a fucking sheet. <laughs> There's Don on night. again. That fucking idiot. Oh, Don. Um, <laughs> Son of a bitch.